In this video, I just want to show you how to do the binomial PDF and binomial CDF in your calculator. So let's look back at example four, um, part A. So this is where we wanted to do binomial PDF when x was equal to five. So to get the binomial PDF or CDF, you're going to go to second bars. That's going to open up all of your distributions. And then the binomials are like way down there. So I'm actually going to scroll up just because it's a little bit faster to circle back around the other way. So I'm gonna get binomial PDF. We're using P because it's the exact equal to case. Um, click enter. So trials, that's gonna be your X value. No, I'm sorry, that's your N. So N is equal to 20. Uh, P is the probability, so 0.1. And then our X value is five. So just fill those in, go to paste, and then click it again. And let's see, 0 0.0319. So yep, that rounds to 0 0.032. Okay, and then let's do like binomial CDF. So I'll do part B. So you would do second bars go up to up or down to binomial CDF. Remember, C is what you use whenever you have the less than or equal to case. And our trials is still 20, probability is still 0.1, and the x value is now 3. Paste it, click enter again, and 0 0.867, 0 0.867, yep, we got it right there. And then um, maybe I'll just do like one more here. So if you need to type, you know, more than one thing besides the binomial, you know, CDF, like let's say it's one minus, you can still do that all in one screen. So you would do like one minus and then second bars, binomial CDF, 20.13, paste, 0 0.1329, 0 0.133, same thing. Okay, and then even here where, where you have like two binomial CDFs in part D, you know, you can still do that all in one line. That way you're getting the most accurate answer. So you would do like second bars, binomial CDF. Let's see, the first one was 20.1 and 10. Click enter, paste it, and then don't click enter again, just do minus, and then go get another one. So second bars, binomial CDF, 20.1, and this value is five. And then click enter, and you get the 0 0.011.